Should Germany withdraw from the EU? Mm. Do you support charter schools? We don't have a good relationship with cops at all. Their presence feels hostile. Hello and welcome. My name is Kendra and ich bin deine Lieblingsausländerin. Coming back to you with another video. So, today we are talking about everybody's favorite, not that controversial at all topic, politics. But more specifically, we're talking about German politics because, as some of you may know, this is an election year in Germany and our beloved Angela Merkel will be stepping down as chancellor. So Germany will be having a new chancellor for the first time in 12 years. As an American citizen, obviously I cannot vote in this election, but I am curious about which party is most aligned with my views. I'm pretty liberal. I would consider myself pretty liberal. I'm not super duper liberal on all things, but I'm pretty liberal on most things. A lot of German parties are left leaning. So I'm just like, which one is leaning to the left that I needed to lean to? And which one is more closely aligned with me? So with all that being said, I'm going to take this quiz. I found this interesting quiz online that tells you which German political party you should vote for if you vote. I'm really curious. I'm just going to, I'm going to see what happens. But before we get started, make sure you click like and make sure you hit subscribe for more great content. Well, I'm going to start by like reading about the demographics of each of the parties. So I know the names of the parties and like generally what their ideologies are but I don't really know much about the demographics of each party. So I'm gonna see what the demographics are and try to figure out which one is most aligned with me. So the parties I'm gonna look at are the CDU, the CSU, which I thought were like kind of combined, but I guess not. SPD, AFD, FDP, and left party, left party and Greens. So the CSU slash CDU, okay, they are the same thing. Um, are popular with people over the age of 60, churchgoers and those living in rural rather than urban areas. The CDU has also traditionally done well among small business owners and people with lower or medium education levels. Okay, so just by reading this description, I don't think CDU is the one that's going to be most aligned with my views, um, but we'll keep going. Okay, then we have SPD, the Social Democratic Party. Um, the SPD has traditionally been the party of working classes and trade unions. Okay, then we have the Green Party. The Greens rely heavily on well-educated urban demographic for their voter base. Party strongholds tend to be in major cities in Western Germany, especially where universities are located. It seems like Green would be most aligned with me because um, I just fall directly into that demographic. The left party stronghold remains the new German states in the former East, where its former voters tend to be communist, who supported the German Democratic Republic. However, many of these have switched to the populist nationalism of AFD in the past couple of years. I wanna say that anybody that has the potential to switch to AFD are probably not people who are most aligned with my values. Um, yeah, and I'm also not a fan of communism, so let's go on. Then we have AFD. AFD has poached voters from all of the other major parties except the Greens. You know, I'm starting to feel like a, a spiritual, political connection to the Greens now. You know, some, it's something. I don't know what it is. And has simultaneously succeeded in mobilizing many non-voters. The AFD scores best among middle and income earners, though that is by no means its exclusive voter base and draws voters from across social classes. 17% of its members are women. Yeah, I just... I mean, I already kind of knew this. I came in with a bias knowing that AFD is not for me. If I get AFD on this quiz, I'm deleting my channel. But yeah, now that I know the ideologies and the platforms of all of the parties, I probably say that I'm going to score the highest with the Greens. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the test. Okay, so this is the 2021 political quiz from I Side With. So it's just going to ask me a series of questions. It looks like they're all yes or no questions for now. Um, and they're gonna match me to a party, so let's see. Like, so you have to answer and then you have to rate how important it is to you. Just for the sake of time, I'm not gonna rate, but um, I'm just gonna go with a yes or no. Should immigrants to Germany be allowed to hold dual citizenship status? Yes, because um, a lot of people immigrate to Germany or immigrate to another country and still have family back home. So it would make it a lot easier if they were able to keep their other passport and still be able to go back home. I know that it's like a bit iffy if your second passport is not an EU passport. For example, most American passport holders are not also allowed to have German passports, but 
if somebody still has ties to their country back home, I don't see why they wouldn't need to keep their passport. Uh, like me, for example, I would never, ever, ever give up my US passport because I'm always gonna have my family there. I'm always gonna have my people there. Yeah, of course, people should be able to keep their passport. The repercussions come with that, of course, like you have to pay taxes in two countries, but uh, it's just part of what comes with it. Should Germany withdraw from the EU? Mm, no, but I do wish sometimes that um, Germany would operate separate from the U EU. For example, over the past year and a half, the EU has really been trying to work in conjunction with each other when different countries had different rules and different restrictions and different uh, incidences. And there were so many times where I was like, I wish Germany would just do its own thing independent of the EU, but I don't think it should withdraw from the EU. I think there are a lot of benefits to this union. Uh, and I think just with everything else, it has its drawbacks. So no. Should nonviolent prisoners be released from jail in order to reduce overcrowding? Yes, I think that once people show good behavior, they should be allowed to leave jail, especially if it's a nonviolent offense. Um, I think once a person can prove that they're no longer a threat to society and that prison has actually rehabilitated them, they should be allowed to get out of prison. So yes, should drug traffickers receive the death penalty. I don't believe in the death penalty, so no. Should tuition at public universities be free? Obviously, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> I'm a student at a public university. Do you support charter schools? <laughs> <laughs> I worked at a charter school for two years and I think charter schools look good on paper, but on the inside, they are so unorganized. And I wouldn't say charter schools do any better of a job educating kids than public schools do. I think schools having the right to make decisions, like privatized decisions, when it comes to how their school is run makes sense, but there's a lot of potential for abuse of power there. So yeah, I don't support charter schools. Should disposable products, such as plates, cups, and cutlery that contain less than 50% of biodegradable material be banned. Yes, of course, I plan it has a huge waste problem, especially in Western countries. Um, and I like that here you see a lot more paper products and a lot less use of plastic. So I think that Germany is going in the right direction when it comes to biodegradable materials. So I'm gonna say, yes, those kinds of materials can be banned. Should researchers be allowed to use animals in the testing of drugs, vaccines, medical devices, and cosmetics? I feel like if they're mice, then yes. Is that bad? Is that bad? Do you support the legalization of same-sex marriage? Yes, I think you should love who you want to love as long as you're in a healthy relationship with a uh, fully matured person. Get married. Are you in favor of decriminalizing drug use? Yes, and I think uh, drug addiction is an illness, it's not a crime. So people shouldn't be thrown in jail, they should be sent to rehab. Should the government increase video surveillance in public areas? Attempts to try to increase video surveillance have been mess met with anger because uh, data protection is really big here and privacy is really big here. And I think it really just depends on the nature of the relationship that the people who are being surveilled have with the government or have with the authorities. So for example, where I'm from in New York, we have a heavy police presence and we don't have a good relationship with cops at all. Um, so their presence feels hostile, but I'm sure in another maybe more affluent neighborhood where people have a better relationship with the cops, it doesn't feel as hostile and it feels more protective. In a US context, I would say no, but in a German context, I would say yes for the prevention of crimes. So yes. All right, so that was every question. Let's see what my results are. So I got matched with this independent party called the Animal Protection Party, which is ironic because I said that there should be animal testing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Animal Protection Party. So I matched with the Animal Protection Party on 91% of itch issues. But based on the list of parties that I read earlier, the parties are most aligned with at 90% are the Social Democratic Party and the Greens. But yeah, I don't pretend to know everything when it comes to politics and political issues because there are just so many of them. And there are only really a few that I feel particularly passionate about, that I research, that I look into on a regular basis. So, I mean, this was fun. This was inspiration to go out and learn more about these issues. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how this election is gonna turn out and see which parties are gonna gain more or less support and just really see what the future of Germany is gonna look like. So yeah, if you guys wanna figure out which party you're more closely aligned with, maybe you're on the fence because some of them have 
pretty similar ideal. Like I match over 90% with three different parties. It's kind of hard to completely fall into one or the other. But um, yeah, if you guys want to take this quiz, I'm going to link it down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It was interesting to talk about politics on my channel because it's something that I typically try to avoid. I see the comments folks leave on other people's channels and I'm like, oh, I don't want that. But, but I also believe in speaking up on things that are important to me. So I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys did too. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll be the Zane.